This is important when we start getting into uh, things like, you know, what's your client acquisition costs, which we talked about already, and this average dollar sale. If my acquisition cost is less than my uh, average dollar sale, we're good. If my average dollar sale or my average order volume is less than what my cost to acquire is, then I could potentially be losing money. The other two that I tend to look at a lot is lifetime value and return on ad spend. So we'll take return on ad spend first. It's probably the easier one to take at this particular juncture as you start to measure and track things. Return on ad spend is essentially, did you get a return on your investment? If I invested $8,000 and I got $10,000 in return, then there's a return there. I made $2,000 extra dollars on my investment. Now, on the flip side, if I invested $10,000 and only got $8,000 in return, then I've got a losing strategy. It's not working. And it's easy to look at that on the front end, like how much did you collect in that first transaction, where it gets a little bit more complex is when you go deeper and you say, what's the lifetime value? How much do I gain from this client or the, this customer over the lifetime that they're buying from us? The greater that lifetime value, the more you can actually lose on the front end. Uh, in other words, you know, I spend a lot more money to acquire a new customer and I lose money on that first transaction, but over the lifetime, I'm going to make way, way more. A little bit more complex to start getting into that, but really important once you get into consistently measuring and tracking marketing.